If you need to update your deck, go to 50cards.shop. Get 5% off your next purchase when you use code NEXUS. All right, guys, we got another fanless video. Um, a little late on this one that you may or may not know, but I uploaded my Gandiva deck profile the same day that we got a ban list announced for Gandiva. So that was fun. Uh, we got a new restriction list update from Bushy Road on November 3rd, Friday, November 3rd. And these new changes are going to be effective November 17th. So we're going to kind of deep dive into the changes and kind of go over how everyone's feeling about this ban list. Um, spoiler alert, people are not happy so let's just kind of go right into it first things off we got nothing for v premium which come on bushiro give me percival back please uh then we got standard so very obvious here is the sturgna restriction to one we it's the same thing they did in japan so that's not new um this is a pretty big hit to ken gandiva's you know overall consistency with being able to fill up the bind zone so this should slow down the deck a little bit then we have elevira and valshablan or valshablan the choice restriction here is mostly to hit willista just to make the deck also a little more inconsistent which is similar to what japan did as well so we have that also for standard we have the unrestriction for ava and combined rusher so uh, Japan did something similar where they did the same thing with Ava and Combined Rusher, but they also unrestricted Brainwash Swirler and GG, meaning that Chrono Jack could run Brainwash Swirler again to make it, you know, a little bit more powerful since the deck kind of lost its potency in Japan. And then Premium, this is a really interesting one that people were really concerned about. Uh, we have Sweep Command Dragon and Eradicator Demolition Dragon, both being choice restricted meaning that you cannot run both cards in the same deck. This is the one that people were like really surprised with because there are other decks or let's just say there's one deck in particular that people are not too happy about in premium and it's not Gridora. <laughs> it's definitely not Gridora. So we're just going to kind of go uh, into the details here. So for a Scarlet Flame Marshall, Dragon Gandiva and Willista decks, were a known quantity going into the Bushiro Championship Series for 2023, and they currently make up half of the decks in the consideration for top eight, as both decks have put up consistent results across the board with high conversion rates, we will be imposing restrictions on them. So like I mentioned earlier, this is the main focus of what the restriction list is for. The unrestriction for Ava and Combined Rusher in the period since the implementation of choice restriction for Ava and Combined Rusher in August of this year, the usage rate for the deck has declined. The deck has not seen much competitive success. As such, the choice restriction for Ava and Combined Rusher will be lifted. Continuing on with that, in the period since the choice restriction for Brainwash Swirler and GG was implemented in August, while the usage rate of Chrono Jet Dragon decks has declined, the deck still makes up a considerable portion of the decks in a consideration for top eight cutoffs. As such, we have decided to leave the choice restriction in place. So I, I want to say one of the main reasons, just real quick, that we're seeing a lot more Jet plays, I would think, as opposed to Ava, is because in Japan, right off the bat, Bastion Accord was like everyone's favorite deck for top for competing. And such, um, Bastion Accord had access to the Howl, which is the card that gives counter charge, is a grade three with boost, and you know puts Bastions into his soul. It just helps with the overall consistency of the deck, and I think kind of helped with the player presence of using the deck. And therefore, all the other standard decks, including Gandiva, kind of fell off just a little bit because everyone and their mother was just playing Bastion Accord. And then that was just kind of a really short term, and then we got right into the youth burke Dredjuled leanorn meta so it was kind of like bastion kind of came did its thing and then it's kind of declining a little bit but the fact that bastion is not really as good in en right now because we don't have the owl yet we still have really high presence of other standard decks being chrono jet gandiva willista minerva read on mask you know the list goes on so i do think you know giving swirler back to jet would have kind of put Jet back up on the map again, especially with Gandiva and Willista being a little bit hit. So I do think this makes sense for the Jet decks to still not get Swirler back. It's still a really, really good consistent deck without it. So I do think this makes sense. I don't think Jet deck players need Swirler. It's still a really good deck without it. 
Uh, v Premium. There are no changes in V Premium format with this update. Premium. This is where we're going to get into the video a little bit deeper. Narakami has continued to be a force to be reckoned with this season, despite the restrictions imposed on the clan previously. Specifically, deaths, decks featuring Sweep Command Dragon have made up a significant portion of entries and generally performed well during this period. As such, we will be imposing a choice restriction on Sweep Command Dragon and Eradicator Demolition Dragon to limit the advantage the deck can accrue. So let's just unpack that real quick. Um, Demolition Dragon, we can pull it up again real quick. You can't really see it here, but what it says is at the end of the battle that this unit boosted or attacked, if the attack hit, you draw a card, choose one of your opponent's cards from the drop and bind it. And if you bound a card and this is on your rear, you can put this unit into your soul. So it's, it's a really easy, just, you know, draw card. And the fact that it works on rides, you can ride Demolition, put a Demolition in the back, and then with the boost and the hit, you can draw two cards off of that, which is nice. I don't think that's really broken per se. I also think that people can really easily substitute Demolition Dragon. I don't think it has the biggest advantage uh, for sure. Alternatively, people could just keep Demolition Dragon and then just, you know, run Vowing Saber, I think. But Sweep Command is just too good not to to run because it's the extra excel marker that you're getting off that so after the vanquisher turn having four excel markers is just nice so i i don't know don't think there's going to be much of a big change this is just really weird i think it's also really weird this is the only change for premium so let's go back into the page real quick so continuing on with premium while this is the only restriction being implemented this cycle we are aware of decks with consistent results and of decks with interactions that may end up being an issue in the future if it may end up being an issue in the future why are you allowing it now just wondering well we have decided not to impose any restrictions on these decks at this point in time we will continue to monitor the situation for mega colony bermuda triangle link joker and spike brother clans and take action if it is necessary to maintain a healthy tournament environment for all of our players so let's just kind of go into these four real quick more so the first two if anything i don't really understand the issue with link joker and spike brothers link joker maybe just because the excel matchup sucks against chaos breaker that's about it spike brothers I don't really know the problem here. I I'm genuinely, I actually have not really seen any Spike Brother tops unless there's some Spike Brother loop that I'm unaware of. But also in my personal experience playing against the clan in premium, it's like, okay, if it goes off, it goes off. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But I guess they're, they're watching out for something. But let's talk about Mega Colony and Bermuda Triangle. Most importantly, Bermuda Triangle. So Mega Colony, the main issue everyone already has is Gridora existing. So let's just real quick pull Gridora up and we can kind of go into this a little bit. Okay, so here we are on the landing page for Guilty Empress Darkface Gridora. You can kind of see in the picture here, this is what the card does. Act, once per turn, you counterblast, flip something face up in your G zone. Until the end of your opponent's next turn, your opponent's units cannot stand during the stand phase and your opponent's cannot call units other than from their hand. This obviously is shutting down like decks that call from the deck, drop zone, soul, like Pale Moon, Grand Blue, Paladin decks. You kind of get the idea there. This also shuts down G Guardians because G Guardians are not being placed from the hand, they're being placed from the G zone, meaning you cannot call them to the Guardian Circle. So that's a kind of a big fuck you to a lot of, you know, premium decks because their main form of huge defense is their G Guardian pull. So to say that you can only guard from your hand is kind of sucks, especially when you're facing off a deck that's gonna get off five attacks. So continuing on with the skill, when this attacks, Soul Blast one, search your deck for up to one grade three, call it to rear, this and that unit gets 10K. So the unit you're calling is a grade three that restands another rear guard, giving you five attacks. So while the deck only gets five attacks, being able to force your opponent to guard with certain things can seem unhealthy. However, we've been over this argument tons of times. The argument kind of still stands about the whole play around it. But like, you, some decks can play around it, some decks can't. If you play Grand Blue, sorry, you lost that matchup. It just kind of sucks. Yes, there's some things you can do, but the fact that your toolboxy deck that you implemented into calling from drop is just dead for the foreseeable next four turns, what are you gonna do, you know? Gridora, it's tough, but a lot of decks can still work around it, especially decks like 
Link Joker, which are mostly building their field from their hand anyways, another control deck. But I'm not gonna get into to Link Joker and Chaos Breaker because the only real thing about Chaos Breaker that makes it so good is the access to Destiny Guardian, which can blow up your opponent's markers and their rear guards, and therefore gaining you a bunch of resources, making it really good against the Excel matchup. Other matchups can kind of work around it, so, but we're not really gonna here to talk about Link Joker and Godor. We're here to talk about Bermuda Triangle. So this is the card that everyone is fed up with. So let's go ahead and read what this card does together, shall we? When this unit is placed on Van or Rear, you Soul Blast one, both you and your opponent draw a card. If your Vanguard is grade three or greater, both you and your opponent choose a card from their hands, call them to rear, and your opponent's auto abilities do not activate from this call. So if you're new, Bermuda Triangle's whole, I guess, gimmick, lack of better words, is to call stuff, bounce it from your field back to your hand, call again, right? Kind of doing that whole cycle. So you're calling a card, you bounce it back to your hand, you play a card, you bounce it back to your hand. So the whole thing that people are doing is they're using the Willista combo cards, you know, let's just call it that, to play Mir Mirtoa. Am I saying that right? Mirtoa. And then using the skill, soul blasting, forcing your opponent to draw a card. Then you bounce the Mirota, Mirtoa. I'm saying that wrong. Bounce the Mirtoa, play it again. Your opponent draws a card and you kind of keep doing this whole thing over and over and over. You're just looping it, right? You loop it until your opponent runs out of deck, you run out of deck, and then you pass your turn and your opponent can't do anything because they have no deck. So it's it's really stupid. If anything, this is like the epitome of loops and Bushiroad has always made it to a point where they say, we don't like loops. It's why Ruffros got hit to one a long time ago. It's why the Inverno loop with Lizbeth got hit years ago. So I don't know why this one is still here. So let's just, now that we kind of explained the issue with this card, let's just kind of see what people are thinking about this. So I have twitter.com slash X open, and we're gonna kind of just see what people are saying about this ban list. This one's really interesting because we have players from Japan kind of reiterating the fact that they don't understand what's going on with our premium meta. They're like, huh? Like, literally, what's going on? <laughs> Yeah, this one's people are also just still wondering about the sweep command demolition restriction bullshit list. Thanks for listening to the players. <laughs> we have some favoritism towards the sweep command and demolition restrictions. Before leaving this game forever, I'm happy to see the biggest banless trash I have ever seen. And I play Yu-Gi-Oh. Yikes. BRO is going to be Mill City. Can't wait. Yep. So people are just going to keep playing. This deck, yep, we got like, everyone's like, huh? What's going on? Kind of surprised with all everyone saying that they didn't choose to hit Mirada though. On the upside, at least Gridora is fine. Yeah, some people are like, you know, they like playing Gridora and yet for some people it's an unfair deck, but at least it's not a loop. How did Bushroad fuck up this bad? P hits could be better. I'm happy about the choice to strict. The early pressure that comes from uh, Ray's and Demo translates so well with going into the stride turn. This hit sort of forces Nairokami players to consider which half of the game they want to focus on. No Mirtoa hit, no Ngilsa run restrict, a whatever hit to Narukami. Yeah. So why is Mirtoa still not banned? LOL, Mirtoa lives to see another day. But she wants more Melista in premium, it looks like. So yeah, everyone for the most part kind of seems to be confused about the Eradicator restriction, but uh, <laughs> worse than Mirtoa banned, but she... Yeah, everyone's kind of on the same page about um, the issue with the lack of, like, I guess, more focus with the premium format. So kind of wrapping up my thoughts, standard list, uh is good premium list questionable v premium come on bushy give me percival back please i'll give you aglaville to one like japan has it i just want i just want percival back man all right that's it for me see you guys in the next one